Water is life. Water is essential for environmental balance. If the globe has to survive, then it has to have this commodity. India is very rapidly running out of fresh water. In the next 10 years, it's projected that the consumption rate of water will exceed the rate at which it's replenished by rainfall. And even the water that is available in the ground is most often compromised. As we looked throughout India, the most common contaminant of water is salt. They have salty groundwater, and they don't have power to get the salt out of the water. And that's what led us to creating off-grid solar power desalination systems. The way that I discovered the need for desalination to begin with and the specific needs within desalination was by going out into the villages. And so we are meeting to find out what the issues are. We went to one village where we spoke with a large group of teachers from the community. The main thing they wanted to bring forward to us was that oftentimes kids would come into the classroom and have extreme stomach pains or stomach aches. And it was very hard for these students to learn because of that. You could tell on their faces how much this is something they worry about and how much this is something they deal with on a daily basis. The water supply is contaminated and my daughter was always in pain. I had to repeatedly take her to the doctors in Chalkao. It's so important that we go into the village and we sit face to face with the farmer and the mother who would use this technology. Because without their insight, we won't know what technical decisions we have to make to create the technology that would benefit them. What, what we should start with first is to understand how they're using water and how they're paying for it. Just yesterday, as we were sitting in a temple, I thought it was a telling moment that, without any prompting, they brought up the costs associated with getting kidney stones because they're drinking brackish water. The needs in India was very well aligned with electrodialysis and everything I was learning about that technology back at MIT. When I first started this project, I was primarily focused on removing the biological contaminants. While my system still does that because that's incredibly important, I'm also removing salts within the water. Electrodialysis is particularly well suited for rural communities in India for a number of reasons. The first is that it requires substantially less energy. The second is that we're not wasting nearly as much water. The third component is that electrodialysis is incredibly robust and all of those things go into the maintenance and reliability of the system. Now we're working with Tata Projects, which is a big infrastructure company that already has a business making village-scale desalination systems. And what we've learned from them is that the big barrier to really providing clean water throughout India is going off-grid. And right now they're limited with reverse osmosis because of the cost of off-grid energy. But with solar-powered electrodialysis, we can do it. And with a partner like Tata Projects, we can manufacture and scale this technology throughout India. We've proved that it's technically feasible. What I'm looking at is can we really drive that cost down? As people all across India, and especially in rural areas, become more and more aware of the water quality issues affecting their community, they're becoming more willing to pay for clean and safe drinking water. That means we can create a sustainable business model that meets that price point. That price point that's actually affordable, so that we can reach 250 million people who currently do not have access to safe drinking water.